uh, we've been advised uh, by the Humboldt County District Attorney's Office that uh, Blue Lake Police Chief uh, Dave Gunderson uh, will be arraigned tomorrow in Superior Court in Eureka at 1.30. Um, we are informed that there will be a complaint that contains an allegation um, of one count of Penal Code Section uh, 262, Subsection A, Subsection 2, which is commonly known as uh, spousal rape. There are also uh, charges that uh, have been inferred will also be present, but we have nothing specific uh, regarding what those charges will be, so we're um, anticipating looking at the complaint that we'll receive at the time of the arraignment tomorrow. Uh, I would, um, on behalf of uh, Chief Gunderson, um, communicate simply that he's looking forward to challenging these allegations. Um, I think it's going to be uh, a very interesting um, how the district attorney intends to bring about uh, criminal charges and support those criminal charges in a matter that, frankly, uh, in Chief Gunderson's view, are rooted in a long-standing uh, family law matter uh, between himself and his former wife. Um, I believe that the issues that the district attorney are attempting to uh, have evolved into a criminal matter, in fact, are intimate family issues uh, best played out in a family law court. I think it's going to be a challenge for the district attorney to support these charges uh, uh, over the long run. And we're looking forward to having a full and complete disclosure of the facts and discussion of the facts. Uh, in talking to Chief Gunderson, I know that he is confident that in time, that once all these facts are out and he's able to to uh, contest these allegations that it will result in his uh, complete exoneration. I would also note that uh, Chief Gunderson uh, is going to request of the court tomorrow um, that he be released on his own recognizance, principally upon his uh, uh, long service to the community, his ties to this community, and probably most significantly the support of the alleged victim in this case, his wife. Her position is that uh, the allegations that we expect to find in the complaint tomorrow are untrue and that uh, the conduct that uh, is prescribed by the particular penal code section um, that I mentioned earlier in fact uh, are not present in the conduct between she and her husband and frankly I think uh, the position is that the state has uh, uh, put their nose into the bedroom of um, Chief uh, Gunderson and his current wife and um, I think exploring in intimate issues there that again are best left to family court. Are they still together? Gunderson and his, uh, the alleged victim? Certainly I, and that's why I state categorically that his current wife, the uh, putative victim in this case, uh, is supporting her husband completely and I suspect in time it will be revealed uh, through uh, litigation and uh, mutual discovery exchange that uh, comments and conduct uh, assigned to her uh, in fact have been misinterpreted and in fact have been exaggerated and that in fact the conduct between she and her husband is of an intimate nature and it's certainly not um, criminal li criminal criminally liable in any way shape or form. Do you know who the attorney is who's representing his first wife? Uh, I do not. Okay, so I, and it, this is, it's a little confusing, that's all. I, I mean, okay. So your, your understanding then <coughs> is that out of a family law matter between David Gunderson and his former wife, Yes. which is over the custody of their 12-year-old child, Yes. that somehow his former wife made allegations that David Gunderson had allegedly raped his current wife, and that is how these charges, uh, this how this complaint originated. Our understanding at this point is that Chief Gunderson's former wife did in fact 
raise allegations of impropriety in the home of his of Chief Gunderson and his current wife. Uh, I have not received the reports from the district attorney, so it is uh, presumptuous of me to get into any more detail than I've already provided. Uh, I think after we've had the opportunity to review that, we would be in a better position to describe what we feel in detail are, are the mechanics of the allegations, how they came about. I would just simply say that it's our opinion at, at this stage that uh, the state is uh, um, intervening into uh, the private lives of uh, uh, citizens at their most private moments, and we, we uh, consider that to be wholly inappropriate.